this is the review for the Febaro Motion Sensor Intelligent Home Febaro system. This is a motion sensor with a bunch of other features as well. Uh, it's very cool, um, very neat, really simple, really light, really small as well. Uh, I've got one here unopened, I still have set up. Um, I have this one in the garage, and I have another one in my dining room. Um, it's really neat, it's really easy to set up, however, I'm using SmartThings, and SmartThings does not have its own um, application for these, so yeah, I do have to use a third party. Um, and I'll put that in the links below, which, which one I'm using. My only problem is motion sensor, it doesn't always work. Um, it does see the sensor as on all the time. When you walk into a room, I mean, this isn't set up. Um, when you walk into a room, you will see lights flash, but it doesn't actually report it as motion on or off. On my phone, it just shows motion on all day long. Um, it is pretty simple to set up and easy, so let's go ahead and show you what it actually looks like a little closer. Okay, so this is what the unit looks like really up close. On the back here, you have a movable spot. You can move this thing all, you can turn this all around. This is what you're going to mount on your wall. It's got a small pinhole, so a small nail hole. You go ahead and you can nail that in. It also comes with a very, very sticky adhesive little, little circle that you put on the wall. That works great. You don't even need to secure this with a screw. I did, however, only because I was afraid it would fall, but it, I don't think it's necessary. Um, this fits in here really snug. This is not going to come out unless you go ahead and pull it out. Um, but this is really simple. This thing weighs maybe an hour. I mean, it's super, super, super light. I don't know how off the top of my head, but it is really light. So this is the housing. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. So inside the unit, you can see on the front, here's your cat's eye. In the back, you take it apart. It's got a small battery. I don't even know what these are. The CR123A. On the inside here, you'll have your battery and, and your button on top. This is what you're going to use to reset the unit and to actually sync it to anything. Very small, really light. I mean, you take the unit apart, you turn it just a little bit, and it locks in. It's got a dot, and I cannot, I'm not sure if you can see those two dots on the screen there. And they line up. There's two dots. You just line them up, and that's how the unit is secure. Very easy, very light. Cool. Actually, let's show you the box as well. This is what the box is sealed. Nice packaging, really small. It's got some cool features and um, worthwhile to checking out. Let's go ahead in the other room and see what it looks like mounted. Okay, so here we are in the living room. You can see just up top, right there, is the unit. It's super small. You can see in perspective. There's some bottles and a picture and over here are my windows. But you can see just how small that unit is in comparison to the rest of the room. You really have to zoom in on that to see it. And it's not even gonna focus because it's so full. All right, so you'll see I have a few things set up here. I have the dining room motion and then the other motion here. If you go into the dining room motion, this is what I'm talking about. The motion, it shows that it's in motion. Um, it shouldn't be. I haven't been in that room for about 10 minutes now, and it's still showing motion in there. I don't know how to reset that. Uh, the battery, uh, there is an issue with this app. They say where the battery does not uh, report accurately. However, I do think it does because... Um, I just changed that battery. I just I just installed that about a month ago, so 100% battery. I would assume is still good. I'm not. I can't confirm that or deny it. I don't know. 79 degrees in that room. I can totally check that because I just used the um, the gun that you use to check the temperature. I can't remember the damn name of it, but that is 79. It was actually 80 degree, 80, 78 in the one corner and 79 where the device is is located. So that's accurate. Uh, I have the lights off, so zero locks is good, and I'm not sure what this is, but anyway. Recent, you can see that my dining room motion, it just constantly reports that there's motion in there, and I don't know how to stop that. Um, that's my one problem with the, with the device. It does not have its own SmartThings application. You have to use a third party, and for me, it's not 
we're, it's not reporting correctly. I've tried many things, however, I can't get it to work. Um, with that said, I'm using this as a motion sensor, so it does work, it just isn't working for me. Others report they're no problem. Uh, that part I don't like, I need it to work because that's what I'm trying these smart things to do. Try and set the motion up. I, having a temperature gauge is awesome, but I just don't, don't care that much because I have other things showing me the temperature. Um, the Lux is nice because I can see what, if it's daytime, if it's nighttime, if someone turned the light on or off, that is really cool and really does help me set up other alarms. And the battery is good, however, I don't know if it's reporting false or not because I just installed it about a month ago. So 100% battery, can't report, can't say it's good or not. Do I recommend getting the Fabaro? Yes. Uh, other people say that there is no problem with it. So they're having a good time using it. So I, I would say yes, if you're having a good, if you, you know somebody that is using it well and able to use it, great, get it. I, however, am having issues getting it to register the sensor, the motion sensor. If SmartThings came out with its own device or its own app for this device, hands down, this is the best option. I did pick these up. Um, the reason I have four of them, I think, yeah, I've got one. This one's from the garage, one in the dining room, one's unopened, and one is outside. These are for outside as well. Uh, it does have you, I do have it on outside under an overhang so it doesn't get wet however it's really friggin humid right now in New Jersey so it's not it's still reporting it's still working well so uh, I can't say it's broken yet it's still working like I said about a month I've been installed good pick them up if you are able to get it to work for 60 bucks it's awesome I did see a drought about six months ago, which is why I just got it, because about six months ago, the price was about $100, and I was not gonna spend $400 on four devices that I didn't know if they would work. I bought one, everything seemed to work except for motion, so I said, hey, it's on sale for $60, I'll pick up three more. 